Hey there. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Scatter for some simple motion graphics. All you're going to need for that is Scatter and some black and white logo that you want to animate. That logo will be used to control the individual size of the masks. I'm going to use the alpha channel of the logo I have here, but I have to invert the colors because I want the logo itself to be black and the environment to be white. Also, I don't want the size to go all the way down to zero, so I just plug in this color ramp node and offset the black value a bit. Alright, now to the animation part. I want the logo to roll in from the top left, but you could also go for any other sort of animation like circular or just noise appearance. I'm not gonna use UV, but rather word coordinates, you can find them under geometry and then position. That way I can just scale up this plane however big I want, but I also have to set the extension mode from repeat to extend. Now I just grab these position coordinates and split them up with a separate XYZ node. Then I combine the X and the Y coordinate with a coefficient and that just depends on the direction you want to go for. I'm going for 3Y minus X but you can just play around with that and see what you like. Next I want to get some control over this wave here. I just add a multiply and I add node and with the multiply node I can now control the size of the wave and with the add node I can control the position. You could also just use a gradient texture or a noise texture or yeah any texture basically, just Voronoi, I don't know, anything that gets the job done. I like to go for the mathematic approach, but yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the complex mathematics behind this witchcraft. Next we have to combine our wave with the logo that we want to animate. For that I'm just gonna multiply the wave onto the alpha mask just before I invert the colors. That's actually almost it already. Next we have to find the spots where the logo is completely shown and completely hidden and set them up for the animation. And that's the base animation already complete. We can now just add in a little bit of variation, like random size and even random rotation. I want those effects to give a variation on how the spots pop in. For that I want them to be 0 when the logo is shown and also 0 when it isn't. So I'll add in a color ramp to control that which is black on the start and black on the end point and somewhere in the middle is white. I can now plug that into the random size as it is but for the random rotation I have to multiply it by a value which transforms it into degrees like 180. Last I only have to add in some camera paths and do the final animation setup. Now what I created here is a very basic animation, but you can do all sorts of stuff with that. You can just go crazy on any of the inputs that are given and achieve all sorts of cool effects with different noise textures, Voronoi textures, whatever you want. Oh, one more interesting but very subtle thing that we might have noticed. The wave texture that we're using has a much higher resolution than the grid of scatter. And because of that, one cell of scatter is not evenly scaled, but rather warped in a weird kind of way. Now, personally, I like that effect, but you might not want that for a specific reason. And there's an easy way around it. You can just use the pixel slider then I integrated into scatter. You just have to plug that in between the coordinates of the texture that you want to pixelate and of course have to set up the same division count. But you have to admit that this effect is pretty cool. Here's me making some circles wobble around. <laughs> 